Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 practice test. It's actually practice test 2. Question number 41. The question says Harry spins a spinner with equal sections numbered 1 through 20. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the 1 through 20 here. I don't know why. It's not like you couldn't do it in your head, but just in, to make a visual point, I guess it's important for me to do this. And I really just like writing numbers. That's why I decided to teach math, I guess. Alright, so 1 through 20. What is the probability that the spinner lands on a multiple of 2? This is not a difficult question at all. The only thing that might be hard, somebody mentioned to me, is that it says multiple of 2. Well, multiple is the base of multiply. So basically, you take mul uh, 2 and then multiply by numbers, and those are the multiples of 2. So if I multiply 2 times 1, I get 2. Uh, I multiply by 2, I get 4. And then, so basically, the even numbers which if you knew that ahead of time you don't even have to go through all the work because you know that if you have a, an even number of data points and they're in consecutive order the even numbers would be half the number but anyway we can just count our circles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have ten and there's twenty total uh... i should mention that every time you see the word probability the first thing that you should think in your head is what's the total now they made it really easy so i didn't cover it here but it's important to cover the total because that's what goes on the bottom of a probability question and it's usually the thing people forget so i put twenty on the bottom and then when i reduce my fraction i get one over two so really kind of a softball question for you it's one of those ones that as long as you know what a multiple of two is you're probably okay and uh, i think that's a really good way to get your score up just by getting some simple questions correct so good luck